Hi guys, so we're going to be doing the Planetary Awareness reading. Um, that is a, oh, I should probably have lit this before. <laughs> Stick this in here first. Um, we're going to be doing the Planetary Awareness. That is a multiple card reading where we're going to be talking about all of the planets in the system um, because each planet has a different association to ourselves. Um, it's a really, really, really cool reading. Um, I pretty much created it myself. <laughs> um, and we use specific, I use like three or four decks. So um, that's what we're going to do. So let me just get my cards ready. I think I'm going to use the con the Compendium of Constellations. I'm really feeling like a galactic vibe for you, my love. So Compendium of Constellations. Obviously the Arcana of Astrology because um, we got to use those planets. So let me just get my planets out of here. I think they're all in the back from the last reading I did. Yep. Here we go, okay. I think that's all of them. Um, and then, what other deck? Oh, I'm gonna be using Mermaids and Dolphins because of the Pluto, I mean the Pluto, the Neptune portion of the reading. I like to use a mermaid or a, like a, my, mer my mermaid, one of my mermaid or, la, 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 la. <laughs> one of my mermaid oracles. Um, and then let's get a tarot deck in the mix because we got to have a tarot deck. So I'm going to use the Art of Love tarot since it's already on my desk. Um, I'm just going to go with that. So we have, um, we have our cards. And whew, let's get started. Okay, so let me put these in order. We have page ready make sure this doesn't okay so we have the Sun so we're gonna do the Sun we want Mercury next we want Venus oh, my pages are gonna be flying everywhere let's do it this way Venus, Earth, and Mars. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Okay. So we're just going to go in order. Um, there's no specific question for your reading, which is perfectly fine because this spread, um, pretty much this reading is like, tapping into all areas of yourself. So we're just gonna shuffle the cards and we're just gonna dive right into it. Wanna make sure we get everything. This is one of my more popular um, services a lot of people really like this one because one because it's kind of cool like I'm using a, a set spread um, but two because there's multiple decks being used and we're talking about like it's it's kind of like a little twist of astrology into it but we're tapping into like all parts of you we're gonna talk about love we're gonna talk about money we're gonna talk about yourself so I think that's why the cards don't want to shuffle anymore, so I'm going to take that as a sign that they are ready. Um, when we're tapping into all areas of you, it's just, it's kind of cool. It's like to have a reading that does all of that because usually the services are like, if you get a love reading service, then that's, you know, we're only going to talk about love. So this is one of those gems in my shop that um, talks about everything. I think that's why it's been so popular. This one wants to come out first. Okay. So, now that we got the cards ready, this is a big spread too, by the way, so um, the cards will start to overlap on the table. Let's push you back so hopefully you could get the full effect here. 
Okay, so we're starting with the sun, and the sun is all about you. So this is going to be um, your present energy. As we talk about, like I said, the sun, your present energy, everything going on with you right now. This is your vibe. And we're going to pull um, a tarot card. Six of hearts, this is the past. This card... Um, the past meaning everything that has already happened, everything that has already taken place. So what I'm seeing is with your energy present right now, um, your mind, your mindset, your thoughts, a lot of this stuff perhaps has reflected on past issues, um, things that have already happened. Maybe you've been nostalgic lately. You've been thinking about the past or people who you used to talk to perhaps. Maybe you've been reminiscing on um, things that you've gone through in the past or um, just different events so it could be you know it could be a it could be a good thing but a lot of the times I, I when I see the past pop up for clients especially when we're talking about themselves it makes me wonder if you are not living too much in the past if you are um, focusing too much on things that you have no more control over. So let me open this window so I have a little bit more light coming through. I just don't want the table to be dark. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Okay. Um, I just want to say if you are, if you find yourself living too much in the past, um, you got to get yourself out of that. And, you know, it's nice to use this as a reflection time. We all reflect. You know, we all reflect on the past. We all reflect on things that we maybe have no more control over. Um, people that we used to talk to. But if you find that it is becoming too consuming um, and you are living too much in the past and you are <coughs> almost going down memory lane and you're like, you're feeling... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, you're feeling negative about it or you're feeling almost like you wish you could change things or relive it, um, that's when you know there's something there that, you know, something that needs closure, something that needs a little bit more, maybe, yeah, reflecting on. Um, but we never want to live in the past. When we start doing that to ourselves, we are... Um, we're not focusing on the present and we're actually, you're actually missing out on a lot of stuff in the present. So I want to make sure that that's, I say that because if you feel like you are doing that to yourself, um, it's kind of like a, a, like, it's like the cards are telling you snap out of it. The cards are saying, you know, you, you, you can, you can reflect, but you can't, sometimes there's things we just can't change in the past, but we can change the present. Okay. Um, so that is the you right now. Um, Mercury is next. And Mercury is the message from the divine. This is, um, Mercury energy is communication. It's the way we communicate. It's the way we think. Okay. So message from the divine. It's going to be an oracle card. We have overcome. I love it. So we were just talking about, um, this is the constellation Grus. Grus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but it's overcome. We were just talking about how you are, you know, living in the past, thinking in the past, that kind of thing, to overcome it. So there is something. There is something there. Forgiveness, um, reflection. I, a lot of times with when we're, when we're dealing with things of the past, it is about reflection. It is about forgiveness and forgiving yourself for stuff that maybe you have no more control over. So overcoming what's in the past so that you can move forward and live and, and indulge in the future as well as enjoy what's in the present. So that's really important for you. I feel like that's in your own way, you're going to be able to feel how that means for you specifically. Okay. Um, but that's powerful. <clears throat> so that's the message from the divine. So it's Basically, spirit is saying there's something you need to overcome. Forgiveness needs to take place. Healing, and it has to do most likely with the past. Um, almost like I feel like it's acting as a barrier for you. It's keeping you from moving forward. Okay, next we have Venus. This is about love, um, beauty, sexuality. 
Venus is um, in the spread. I'm taking it as the love forecast. So we're going to be pulling two cards to show what is coming up in your love forecast. But yeah, Venus is all about love, beauty, sexuality, femininity, all of that beautiful stuff. Um, so the love forecast, we have the three of angels or clarification. And we have the force or strength. So, <clears throat> in the past, does this love, is this a past lover? Is this somebody that you have once had really hard feelings for? Maybe this person's popping up. Either they've come back um, because it's six of hearts. That's six of cups, you know? this Has there been an ex coming back into your life? Has there been <coughs> maybe a personal need for you, a desire to reach out to an ex, you know? We have the three of angels, which is the three of swords, okay? Um, and it's clarification, and I love that because if we are talking about an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend or whatever, the ex factor is, for me, it's like with the three of swords. Um, clarification is kind of like receiving that, um, that, um, receiving the the need the answer okay like i was talking about with with the past um closure that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> Re receiving closure to set yourself free so perhaps you know maybe there is someone from the past and it doesn't have to be a lover this could be like a friend that you've you know lost in contact with and maybe you're thinking about reaching out um or maybe it's just receiving clarification okay but there's some sort of issue and whatever it is because it's landing in the future tense i mean the future the the love tense it's going to help you grow and we have also with this with the force or the strength card so to me it's it's like receiving clarification of what maybe receiving closure i'm going to go with that because i feel like that's just what spirit is like wanting to say receiving closure from a previous relationship and this could be you does you don't even have to reach out to this person to receive that sometimes it's just something will click you know and it could be years later and you finally realize oh my gosh that is why i went through that or that is why that person did that you know or that is why i had that experience or whatever and you get your answer and then it maybe it strengthens you or it makes you feel more confident to put yourself out there for the next lover okay so with I, what i see in terms of love what's coming up in love clarification is the aha moment i feel that is like healing also if we're talking about an ex because it is the three of swords this could be healing um healing from love healing from <clears throat> um a past issue but it's also matched with strength which is confidence so does love does it look like love is on the way um you know assuming that you know we're talking about if you're single um, the cards don't really show that. The cards kind of show you preparing yourself and, and being energetically and just completely motivated to put yourself out there to actually obtain love. So it's almost like you're in the process right now of, of healing from a past issue. And with that comes the clarification, the answer, receiving the answer, receiving that, oh, okay, that is why I went through all of that. And then giving you confidence to continue forward and actually obtain new love okay um that is saying if you are single now because i don't know if you're single or not i know i've read for you before but <laughs> it's hard for me to remember the details of all of my clients um so i'm going to go ahead and say you know if you are single that is the way we could read that now if you are in a relationship three of angels and the force is saying clarification could be if you're in a relationship and it's like receiving that answer, um, receiving maybe having like the dialogue with your lover, um, maybe there's a, a recent argument that you've been in with that with this person and in needing to find an answer. Why why are we going through what we're going through? Um, and then it's like the the life force is is reinstilled and 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 reinstated in your relationship to help you push forward and for you guys to be a lot stronger and to keep going. So, you know, we can see it in that form. Um, but I really feel like that's something necessary that you need, especially feeling strong, confident, motivated, in love. Um, 
to push forward. I love that the the angel or the individual in this card is actually facing forward. They're facing the future rather than, um, you know, the past, which is what technically this card is. This individual is actually, if you look at it, the two together. One is facing the past. The other one's facing the forward, forward the future. So I like to kind of look into that too. It just kind of shows... Um, it's you're no longer looking into the past you're no longer looking into what could have been you're actually aiming forward now you're able to move on we have earth next and earth is the future forecast so we're going to look into what is coming up in the future um and we're going to pull two tarot cards we have the empress five of angels withdrawal so that's interesting. It's kind of like that flow. I'm seeing like it's, I'm thinking of the ocean, you know, when the waves are pulling in and then they're pulling out, they're pulling in and then they're pulling out. Um, maybe this is a limbo. This is a dance that you've been in for quite some time, you know. You feel, you know, you feel very confident that you can move forward and then something happens and you return inward. Um, Empress or mother energy, this could be mother vibes. So perhaps if you, um, you know, a relationship you may have with your mother or um, someone who's really important in your life, this could be, you know, a girlfriend that you trust, or this could be your own mother or a grandmother figure or somewhat, um, you know, this person, you know, maybe there's just, there's little things that you have going on with this individual. Um, withdrawal. This could be motherhood too. This could be motherhood, thinking about having children or the withdrawal of being a mother, perhaps, you know, not feeling connected. I'm just getting the feeling like with the vibe of you, um, it's like you're you get you're given a burst of motivation and then you you put yourself out there, but then just as quickly as you put yourself out there, you come back inward. Um there's a lot of hesitation that surrounds you. There's a lot of um just kind of like I don't know I want to say confusion that's like another feeling that I'm getting so um really interesting really interesting cards because I feel like with with empress energy this is mama energy or this is like creation um this is you perhaps really obtaining that desire to to do things creatively with your life to try new stuff you know you're facing some fears in the future but with that happens, with that comes the unsureness, you know, you're not really sure how the outcome is going to be. So then you have this, this five of swords card, right? And it's like withdrawal. It's kind of like, okay, well, maybe I'm not ready for that yet. You know, <laughs> wanting to face fears and then you feel like, okay, I'm not ready. I don't, I don't think I could do this. So I'm getting a lot of feelings like that with you. Um, especially since we're looking with the earth card, this is the future, that's something for you to, to keep on the lookout. Um, if you struggle, maybe you struggle right now with um, facing fears, doing things that you're not sure about because you don't know the outcome. The future is bringing a lot of that up. Um, but then I also see, like I, said, like I said, that whole withdrawal thing. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Um, if you know that this is a pattern with you, especially when you're trying and doing something new. Um, it's a pattern that I see still popping up in the future. So this is, I feel like this is a constant lesson for you. It's a constant lesson for you to um, trust yourself and to go with the flow. We have Mars next, and Mars is um, masculine energy, but it's also looked at as what is blocking your masculine um, energy, to your desire to, to create. And this is exactly what we were just talking about, by the way. Um, Mars energy is motivation, it's action, it is the energy of getting stuff done, okay? This is the energy that we, we it, it powers us, right? It gives us a charge. But I'm looking at it in terms of what is keeping you from obtaining that, that mindset, that, that ability to do that. And I feel like that's going to be helpful for you because we were just talking about that how you, you will burst into an energy thing and you want to do stuff and then all of a sudden it's like you, you have doubt. So what is causing the block? And we're going to pull, let's pull an oracle card. We have deception. 
we have deception. Um, that could be, this could honestly be yourself, right? Deception, it could honestly be your own, the own lies that your mind tells you. Fear is a huge one. I feel like you are revolving around a lot of fear. There's a lot of things that are causing you to not trust yourself or to trust your choices. Um, there's a lot of things that cause you to hesitate making the next step forward. And the deception card, this is the constellation um, Volpecula. It's a beautiful card. Um, your own deception. And I feel like it's your own deceptive mind, to be honest. It's yourself. We are sometimes the biggest block in our own life. We are sometimes our fears of moving forward. And I was literally just reading about this in my book this morning when I was having coffee. So I feel like maybe I was reading that little chapter for you. Um, we act as our own blocks. And when we don't tap into our intuition and we don't take chances and we're afraid of taking risks, we are literally our own block. So I feel like that's a strong message for you. So I'm, I'm going to leave that there because um, I'm, like I said, I'm really seeing that flow living in the past. Maybe there's a lot of regrets in your past. There's a lot of regrets of you not moving forward with certain things. And then when you feel like you're ready to do it, something draws you back inward. Could this mama energy, the empress energy, could this be an individual in your life who you feel like you can't keep completely moving forward with the things you want to do in your life because there's someone you have to take care of or is this empress energy yourself is it regret in yourself or not having children or not feeling like you are ready to have kids or i mean we can look at it so many different ways this empress can be maybe regret in you not being creative um, in your past and not really diving into what is true to your heart. I mean, I feel like there's just so many different things that we could say about the cards. Um, I'm only going to throw out, you know, the ones that I just feel are so obvious to me. Um, but I feel like it's there's there's a lot of hesitation. There's a lot of a, like a desire. Whoops. There's a lot of desire to move forward. There's a lot of desire for change and facing your fears. But then at the same time, there's fear that brings you back and it's like you're caught in this cycle that's exactly what I'm feeling <clears throat> it's almost anxiety I think that's why I'm so finicky right now um, it's almost like anxiety so if you're feeling that my love if you're feeling anxiety if you're feeling unsure doubt regret living in your past feeling like you're just your 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 mind is your own worst enemy I, I totally see it in your cards. Um, okay, let's talk about Jupiter. And so Jupiter is the career, um, the career or money forecast. Jupiter is all about like the 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 fortune, right? Jupiter expands everything that it touches, expands everything that it's 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 influencing. Um, I like to look at Jupiter as like a good luck card. But in this, in this spread, we're looking at him as finances and career. So let's see what's going on there. We're going to pull two cards, so two tarots. We have two of hearts, union, and the high priestess. I love it. So with career, um, these cards with career is definitely telling me it is time that you take on a path career-wise financially decisions that you make with your with your job or finances like with money choices that you totally lead with this high priestess energy this is saying you lead with your intuition okay and then the two of hearts is telling me two things one two of hearts is saying it's got to be from the hearts based okay your career what you do for your living as long as you are meshing, whether you are actually fulfilling your dream from the heart and you're doing a job that full, like fulfills your love, or you are somehow blending the two, that's what I'm seeing with the Two of Cups, the union. Um, the other message I see is if there is a significant other in the picture, allowing this person so that the two of you can combine your incomes so that the two of you are able to still fulfill your own dreams, your own desires. So that could be something that comes up in the future. Maybe, you know, if you're single, you may meet, you may meet someone in the workplace. 
we can take that as a literal, you know, <laughs> because the two of cups is, is often meeting someone. This is a union between two people. So perhaps there's someone that you're interested in and you may meet at work or there's someone that will inspire you at work. This could be just a coworker that just says the, the right thing and you just feel like, oh my God, I needed to hear that message. Intuition is like bringing, you know, this piece of yourself into your workplace. Okay. Trusting your vibes. Um, this goes hand in hand with what I was saying earlier with how your mind is so deceptive. Your own fears come from your own mind, your own thoughts. Um, I totally see that. So I do see the high priestess energy <clears throat> in terms of your career. When you are making major decisions as far as career and money goes, it's it is vital that you listen and you trust to your in, you trust your intuition. And a lot of times when we do that, when we're trusting our intuition, we are called, we are being called to do things that we are like, we may think, oh my gosh, that's absolutely crazy. I don't think I could do that. Some of the biggest fears we have to face are us being called to listen to our intuition and you will face your biggest fears. So again, that all comes from something I literally just read while I was having coffee. So I do feel like I was... I was I was meant to sit down and read that passage so that I could give you that message. Um, I just I trust that. Next we have Saturn, and Saturn is um, long term goals for transformation. So Saturn is all about you know the energy of what is transforming within us. Saturn can act as a block. Okay, it'll act as something that we have to just really focus on, and it'll stop other things in in the path. Um, Saturn is a, is a planet of like lessons as well. Lo huge life lessons. A lot of times when we have our Saturn return, when we turn thirties or sixties and you know, every 30 years it comes back to us. Um, we are usually have gone through or are going through something major in our life. Okay. So let's see what that card has for you. We're going to pull one card. Ah, <sighs> Purity. This is the constellation Monoceros. So Monoceros, this is beautiful. Monoceros is all about purity. The lesson of purity. I love it for you. Um, transformation with that. When you think of purity, I instantly am, am like brought back to when I'm a child, right? The, our mind as a little girl, my mind as a little girl. And I feel like that's something you need to do too. Think back at yourself when you were literally like pure and innocent. What, how did you view life? How did you view your future? How would you speak about the things that you wanted to do in your future? Um, I feel like that's a lesson for transformation. I feel like it's the need for you to really pull inward and go back to that time in your life when you were pure when you your mind was innocent and you weren't you know held down and held back by all of this other stuff um that's basically how i'm how i'm reading that um purity is cleanliness purity is you know the need for you to draw inward and really focus on taking the trash out I feel <laughs> I feel it's just learning how to get rid of baggage and that goes back to the past um getting rid of stuff that uh, accepting I can't change this anymore you know this is my life this is what happened I can't change it anymore but I can focus on bettering myself for the future it's beautiful it's a beautiful card um so I guess for the long-term goal of that, of for this transformation, it's ma mainly I feel like you, you need to just kind of shift the way you think. Shifting your thought process. Um, thinking more in terms of like when you were younger, right? And innocent and pure. How was your mindset? How did you view life? You know, changing your mindset in that way because I feel like maybe that's why you're being nostalgic. You're thinking about the good days, the good times when, when life wasn't as stressful. So it, that could all, it, it, this kind of all makes sense in a way. Um, but again, only to you will it make full-blown sense. <laughs> um, next we have Uranus. And Uranus is um, the rebellious planet. This is the planet that does whatever it wants. Um, and we're looking at what can you enhance about yourself to stand out from the crowd? 
How can you make yourself be different from everyone else? Um, and let's pull another oracle. Heal. Oh, I love it. This is constellation um Ophituous. Ophi Ophiuchus. I don't know. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, but it is heal. It is the constellation about healing. So what can you do to stand out from the crowd? Focus on your spirituality. That is one major one for sure. Um, when everyone else is dealing with like, you know, and I hate to say it, but it's like when everyone chooses to, to follow a dogmatic religious belief system, for you, your spirituality is healing and healing is your spirituality. You'll stand out from the crowd. People will notice that you're different. Um, so I feel like perhaps there is some childhood things to focus on, to cleanse yourself from, to heal from. How can you stand out from the crowd? Don't be part of the crowd. You know, that's a big one too. Um, so I feel like you're in the midst right now of a lot of inner healing. A lot of past stuff will come up. Child things, perhaps. Okay. Um, but it's also facing a lot of fears is coming up for you. Neptune. Neptune is our watery vibe. Neptune is all about the illusions, the mystery, the intuition, the psychic stuff. Um, so we are, what is the hidden desire and how can you obtain it? So what is your hidden desire? How can you obtain it? So we have the water nymph. The first step to wisdom is understanding. So this is your desire. How can you, like, what, what is your hidden desire? Wanting to um, have wisdom of understanding. Wisdom is understanding. Basically, I feel the inner desire is just to understand who the hell you are, what you went through, why you went through that, what is the meaning of life, <laughs> all of that kind of stuff. A lot of times when we're tapping into our um, our spirituality and when we're going through the healing process, um, we want to know why we did this, why do we go through that, why were we believing in these things, you know, how to obtain it. Queen Amphitrite. This is faith is an optimist. Faith is an optimist that shows which way to flow. Faith, your spirituality, your belief system. I think what is happening here is there's a shift in you changing your belief systems. I feel like things, the way that you believe stuff, the way you perceive life is changing. That's the healing process. This is definitely going to make you stand out when you are doing things that is completely different from everyone else and you are choosing a different path of spirituality. People are going to see it and they're going to they're going to notice. Um, but I feel like that's a shift in you and I feel like it's a process of forgiveness. It's a process of you forgiving your past, forgiving you as a child, forgiving the mistakes you made, forgiving the regrets that you have, forgiving the things that you never did. It's a lot. There's a lot there. That's beautiful. Lastly, we have Pluto, and Pluto is all about um, <clears throat> endings and new beginnings. It's death, but it's also rebirth. So this is, what is your shadow self? Let's look at the fear. What is the fear? We have Queen of Hearts, Six Sense. <laughs> now, your sixth sense is what? Your psychic ability, Queen of Hearts, is the Queen of Cups. She is the Queen of Intuition. She is also the Queen of Healing, by the way. Your emotions, your feelings, your matters of the heart. You. <laughs> you look at it as you. It's like, what is your what is your fear? You. Your true self. Your potential. Who you are. Who you were meant to be. Um... I feel like it's a lot of inward stuff. It's literally like you looking in the mirror. Literally. That's heavy. That's heavy when you really think about it. When you realize this whole time, what I've been afraid of is myself because myself is what is what plants those fears, the deception like we were talking about. My thoughts, my way of thinking. I am my worst enemy. And when you realize it, it's like, wow, there is really nothing else that I should be afraid of because it's just me. 
I am the one that is creating all of this. It literally is a mind blow when you like really think about it. Um, I can't imagine. I mean, I can't, I can't even like <laughs> what I read, the passage I read in my book. I don't have my book next to me or I would show you. Um, this whole reading reflects what I read this morning. So I, tr I truly feel like I was reading that passage to prepare myself for your message. I really hope, my love, I hope that this reading made sense. I hope that it, it gave you something to think about. Um, I am not here to tell you what to do. I am here to guide you and to kind of pull things out and give you stuff to think about. So it's kind of like I'm pulling stuff out of it, different areas of your life, putting it on the table, and this is what you need to consider. But please don't don't think of it as I am telling you what to do. Um, if you are not ready for this healing process, you will be ready eventually. But don't force it. Um, if there is issues of the past popping up, but you're not ready to dive into it just yet. It'll happen when it's meant to. But this reading is just to kind of show you that this is stuff that's popping up. These are what your cards are revealing based on your present energy. Um, I hope that this stuff made sense. I hope it gave you something to think about. I think it will. <laughs> um, I am here. If you have any questions, please send me an email. If you have questions, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And I do deeply apologize, um, with the delay in getting the reading out to you, but here it is, my love. I hope that it helps and I wish you all of the best with your journey. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye love.